So I understand that you've got a brand new shop here. So tell me about your new shop. Uh, I'm really excited. Um, so what I do is make very, very large wings, up to 16 foot wingspan. And I was working in a room in my house that was nine by 10. Um, and so, you know, the math doesn't really work out all the time. Uh, and then I was also working in the garage and we're in Arizona, which is hot in the summer. And yeah. So, you know, I would go out to do some wiring and it'd be 150 degrees in the garage while mm -hmm. I'm trying to solder. And so I decided that I didn't like that anymore. So uh, the Crooked Feather is making enough money that I can just barely afford this space. Uh, and it makes work so much easier. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually get work done at a good pace now. Well, that's great. So, well, tell me about, like, how did you get started doing wings? Cosplay? Uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think uh, pretty much every crazy thing I've tried is for cosplay because what cosplay is trying to do is take a fictional character and make it real. And sometimes that fictional character has armor, but we're not going to make it out of metal because we would like to be able to walk. We have to come up with ways to fake it. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the first set I made, um, I was kind of just going through cosplay forums and I saw a girl that had made a set and I was like, ooh, I don't even have a costume for this. I don't care. I'm just going to make, like, it, this <laughs> looks fun. Yeah. So I made them and I kind of generated this, like, dark angel costume around a little OC mm -hmm. thing. Um, and I was walking around in them and everybody was like, do you make those? Can I order them? And I was like, oh, I guess you could. Why not? And that's where it started. Were and those I just mechanical? Got, no, those, those were right static, like mm -hmm. the wire ones. So they used a different kind of fabric and all kinds of stuff that I ended up changing because, mm -hmm. you know, the wire was too small, so they were bouncy, droopy and, droopy and bouncy. So I upped the gauge and I double, you know, tri double or triple it so that they don't bounce so much. Mm -hmm. And um, I used felt, which bonds better with the feather, and I clipped the quills off so they're not just poking out, things like that, that, you know, you make it once and you're like, oh, it didn't work out, but move on to the next step and the next step. And right. then the next step after several of these was, how do I make the move? You do tutorials of your own now, don't you? Yes, I yeah. do. They're really long. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> uh, try and make them entertaining. Mm -hmm. um, I try like for parts that are just time consuming. Right. Like I do a time lapse and right. put some music on. And you don't but need you to don't see need to watch all that of that. You minute. can watch just the feathers go on. Really. Right. All right, so let's talk about your tattoo here for a minute. I've always wanted a wing tattoo, so. I, but I pondered over it for probably 10 years before I actually <laughs> bit the bullet and did it because I'm very picky mm -hmm. and uh, I actually love birds um, and flight in general, so I wanted somebody who really understood bird anatomy because sometimes I see a tattoo and I'm like, that's not, what is that even? I don't right. know what creature that comes from. Right. She tried to make it so that when I move my arms, like the bones move kind of a accordingly. The... Yeah, wow. like they're supposed to pivot. And I love that. But so, uh, <laughs> so, back, so back to the original question. <laughs> <Yeah>. Mechanics. <laughs> I really, uh, I've always wanted wings and I was getting to the point where people would ask me if I could make them move and I'm like, I, well, probably, but I haven't figured it out yet. So I just went online and was looking for tutorials and everything's really sparse on mechanical stuff like mechanical wing frames and you can get the mechanical wing with pulleys but I needed to carry more weight and um, well that's because a lot of people don't know how to do this electronic <laughs> stuff yeah <laughs> so I found a guy in Germany wow yeah that had made a very very I mean his are actually even still to this day better than mine but um, he made a set with uh, electronics and I couldn't find the right stuff like I tried to make it with electronics the first time and I mean it just fell to pieces because he used PVC so I used PVC and he made his own linear actuator so I made my own like I just followed it the way he did it so they just were slightly disastrous <laughs> um, but I learned a lot from it and so the next time I was like okay instead of PVC which wobbles I went with metal and aluminum weighs about the same. Um, it's really, really light. And then the way he had his feathers pivoting was like with these plastic tubes and he just like glued in wooden dowels, but then my feathers snapped because there's wood inside instead of wire. Three, I think I made three sets before I got to pretty much where I am now. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, I, his design still lives on, at least in part, 
Perfect. So how did you learn how to do the electronics? Because that, wow. I built my first set uh, at a hackerspace. And, you know, I started the, and it's really great because half the people at the hackerspace are just hanging out, like maybe tinkering on something. But if they see somebody working on a cool project, they'll like walk over and help. And so that's pretty much what happened. I was like, all right, I need tools that I don't have. I'm going to go down to the hackerspace. I'm going to start working on this. And then I had three guys like just start helping me when I had questions. I'd be like, hey, Paul, like, how do I do this thing? Or where would I find this part? And mm -hmm. he would kind of point me in the right direction and I'd go from there. So if somebody wants to buy a set of wings from you, let's uh, walk, walk us through the process of what happens after they approach you. Uh, well, I ask what they want because I do make both static and articulating. I ask what their budget is and I ask them what they want them to look like because I can pretty much do anything. For the most part, like if I have a project, somebody says, hey, can I make, the, you make this totally weird, bizarro thing? I'll be like, yes, awesome. Like, <laughs> I want, <laughs> yes, I want to try. Yeah, um, and so I find out budget, I find out what it is they want, I find out color, and then I give a quote mm -hmm. um, based on what I think that it's gonna take to make them. And then I do PayPal invoicing because mm -hmm. then you can make payments because some of these are right. really big investments. Um, mm -hmm. Some of these are as much as $3,500 when it gets crazy. Okay, so you said that uh, the high end is $3,500. Yep. And I'm just here to tell you that that's probably going to go up, guys, <laughs> as she gets better and better at pricing her stuff. Probably. And now that I have to pay for shop space. <laughs> and now that she has to pay for shop space. So where does it start? Uh, I mean, I've made some for little girls uh, as low as $100 that are just like mm -hmm. cute little whatevers because right. they take you know they right don't they don't move though they don't move no. yeah not the moving ones the yeah. moving ones start um i can do a little six foot pulley set those start at 1400 mm -hmm. the 10 and 12 foot are 2300 and 2500 for black or white and then you know color and pattern and whatnot cost more typically twice or um 1.5 times your height is the range that you're going to look good in so thanks for uh, having us in, Alexis, and showing us your wonderful studio. And uh, thank you guys for watching Costume Talk, and join us again. And remember, subscribe. <laughs> Are we waiting bye? Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> Editing is our friend. Friend, yes. So if you like this video, subscribe and give us comments below on what we can do better or suggestions for a future costume talk. See you next time.